Good afternoon po. Hi everybody. Our lesson for today is about the code of conduct for aviators. But this is just a model. Ibig sabihin po, if we are going to make our own code of conduct, for example, na naatasan tayo bilang isa sa mga key personnel to construct, create, or develop a code of conduct for aviation, um, this one, this model is appropriate for us to see and as a guide kung paano natin ika-craft yung ating code of conduct. So this this lesson will help us um, understand yung mga dapat nating going or necessary na dapat include sa ating um, paggawa ng code of conduct. So last time sa discussion dun sa video, um, na-discuss natin yung mga professional code, uh, professional values na dapat nating um, gawin as our um, yung parang babaunin mo when you become part of an organization, especially in, in any kind of, of task or work or job na magiging um, part tayo dun sa organization or sa workplace. So this one, the aviator's model um, code of conduct will help us to give idea of the details na nilalaman ng code of conduct, conduct which is specifically and especially it is made for aviation, especially for aviators. Now, this um, topic, uh, the introduction of the it, of it is um, yung aviators model, model code of conduct or code of conduct. It offers recommendations, no? recommendations that particularly doon sa advanced flight safety, ito yung pinaka-focus niya sa airmanship and of course the sa professionalism. Some um code of conduct kasi it's especially hin hindi naka-specify sa isang industry or field. Ang kanilang uh, most of the code of conduct ay puro um values in workplace, um in customer service. Now, uh, ang naiiba dito sa aviators mo mod code of conduct is doon sa professionalism, flight safety, and airmanship. So this one, this code of conduct, it presents a vision, a vision of excellence for aviators. So tayo magiging pilot one day, magiging part ng crew, um, napaka-necessary na meron tayong excel excellence sa ginagawa natin. And it is, of course, um, kasama dito sa aviators model code of conduct is yung mga legal requirements, yung mga recommended practices. So this code of conduct is only a model. It's not a standard. Magkaiba kasi ang standard sa model. Pag sinabi natin standard, it is required by the authority or yung, yung institution. Halimbawa, no, um, yung ka-app, yan, may nare-require silang standard for uh, may nare-require silang standard for the uh, aviators uh, processes and requirements. Well, in such, itong code of conduct na to is necessary doon lamang uh, parang basis for us to create our own code or our own values, our own credo. So, pwede natin i-customize, pwede siyang i-revise, or sa revision of it, probably, if you're going to craft your own code of conduct, pwede natin i-revise yung kanyang title, pwede yung length of the code itself, and of course, yung organization. Kung saan kailangan akmang akma sa pangailangan ng mismong organization. Halimbawa, if if Philippine Airlines doesn't have any aviators code of conduct yet, pwede natin itong gamitin itong aviators code of conduct or aviators model code of conduct. Pero of course, i-revise mo siya. So here po um yung mga nilalaman for for 
a particular code of conduct to be mo more effective, mas better kumbaga, is an aviator or those who will craft this code of conduct must have the fundamentals of flight, of course, the commitment, and of course, yung pursuit of professionalism. Now, there are several sections at meron tayong seven sections for this code of conduct. I will discuss first the first three uh, parts or sections and the remaining will be uh, discussed sa, sa ibang, ibang video. So this practice, uh, yung, yung code of conduct mo, may, meron siyang sections in sa kada sections niya, meron tayong of course, sample recommended practices. I, I, I mentioned first yung principles and then yung recommended practices. So these are the sections 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the first three, the general responsibilities of aviators. The second is the passengers and people on the surface. The surface that is being mentioned here is of course the aircraft, the air, uh, the yung sa, sa I don't, airport of course and the 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 facilities involved in a vehicle and of course yung training and proficiency so the, these three first sections will be discussed first and then the remaining um four Sections, the security, environmental issues, use of technology, and advance in promotion of aviation will be discussed uh, in another video. So the first one, uh, after na ma, ma mention or ma-explain yung principles, meron siyang backup na sample recommended practices. So ito pong sample recommended practices, it um, ang nilalaman niya is yung sinasuggest na ways in applying the principles. So, yung ating uh, principles na nakalatag, meron siyang isasuggest na recommended practices of which may be reordered. Pwede, mong, pwede mo siyang iba-ibahin. Kung kakopyahin natin siya, pwede hindi mo i-follow yung pagkakasunod-sunod niya. Or you can eliminate some of those practices which are probably kung ano yung makakasatisfy doon sa requirement. Sa kada pilot, sa mission and vision ng, ng organization, the aircraft itself, and of course the um, organization and flight environment. Um, these recommended practices are not presented in any order of importance. Halimbawa, nakalagay doon, um, uh, ang minimension ay tungkol sa flight safety. It's not naman na dahil siya ang naunang na-explain, siya na yung pinaka-importante. Hindi po. So meron tayong tinatawag na IFR or Instrument Flight Rule. So dito sa Instrument Flight Rule po, usually, yan ay nasa dulo ng ating recommended practices. Now, may mga commentary po. Pwede tayong mag-read ng mga commentary, but I did not include the, uh, the commentary dito sa discussion. Uh, you can check some commentaries sa www.secureav.com. Dito po nagkakaroon ng mga interpretative guidance and suggestions on how we can adopt itong mga code of conduct. So dito, um, pwede nyo pong makita yung mga published commentary para mas makita natin yung mga karagdagan. Alibaba, may mga commentary dito if from, from experts sa larangan ng aviation. So available po siya sa internet. Okay, let's what are the what is the what are the benefits of this uh model this this aviator's model of code of conduct ang kanyang benefits po uh it highlights practices to support safe uh, so support safety and professionalism especially for aviators um second po 
uh, nagpa-promote din siya ng improved pilot training. Okay? Hindi lang sa pilot training, airmanship, conduct personal conduct personality response, personal responsibility and pilot contribution sa aviation community. And of course, sa society natin. Hindi lang sa aviation community. Another thing is yung encouraging the development and adoption of good judgment and ethical behavior. Remember, when we are talking about code of conduct, the, the common, the, the usual thing here is that what are the acceptable behavior or conduct? What are the good judgment? Kasi most of the time, we were going to have this decision making. And in this decision making, tama ba yung magiging decision mo, yung good judgment mo, and of course, the ethical behavior. Another thing, the importance or the benefits that we can get sa pagkakaroon ng code of conduct, especially sa aviation, ay yung meron tayong tinatawag na self-regulation sa magitan ng aviation community. Kasi um, the field of uh, aviation, of course, merong specific na, na system that works within it. Uh, there yung mga sistema or mga ruling, rulings and specifications from other industries such as sa medical field is not really applicable. Not all are applicable sa aviation. Tama ba? Probably in business side, in business context, uh, most of the adaptable principles will be best customer service. Diba? Pwedeng mga ganun. Pwedeng ma-adapt yun sa aviation community. Yan. Yung mga re uh, government regulations. Most of us naman, lahat ng industry, mapa medical field, um, aviation, businesses, and others, like agriculture and other industry. We always have this um, following what is the required by the government, na, especially um, complying sa regulations natin. Another thing, we will have this what we call improved communications between and among. Hindi lang between, between and among pilots, regulators, and of course, others who are um, key persons in aviation industry. And of course, last year, yung benefits ng code of conduct ay yung promotion or promoting aviation and making flying a more rewarding and enjoyable service. May mga tao that um, they have this fear of, of, of riding an aircraft, mga ganun. So, in, in code of conduct, magkakaroon, we, we promote aviation, we promote this what we call the experience of flying no? through, through um, aviation activities. No? And mas enjoyable, hindi lang po ng mga employers, but of course, the benefit of the enjoyment sa experience ay yung mga customers natin. Okay? Any questions? Now, um, mag-move tayo sa, sa recommend uh, principles and recommended practices. So, ang first part na may mention dito the principles, and then uh, after that, may um may explain natin yung recommended practices. So first of the principle here is the general responsibilities of aviators. So ano ba yung mga responsibilidad ng mga piloto? Okay. Me I am not a graduate of any aviation courses, but I have the the opportunity na ma-explain sa atin. Probably, kahit hindi ka naman graduate ng pagiging piloto, itong mga ma-mention na to ay ma-i-discuss na ko naman ng maayos. Pag pilot po, ito yung mga responsibilities natin. Okay? Make sure that first, safety is the highest priority. Di ba gano'n naman lahat ng mga driver or mga um, kung sino may mga hawak na public vehicles they are assuring that every passenger is safe doon kahit mismo yung sarili nila. So, hindi naman nila, hindi sila mag-ride 
ng aircraft without ensuring that hindi say or safe yung um aircraft. Pangalawa, they seek excellence in airmanship. Of course, through our earning academic requirements, kailangan makapagtapos ka muna ng course na na commercial flying or magkaroon ka ng diploma or certificate that you have this um certificate you have this license to to um be an aircraft expert or meron tayong tinatawag na airmanship yung tinatawag na excellent tayo doon kaya di ba meron tayong mga lines sa uniform ng mga pilots the number of lines in your uniform indicates your level senior level junior and whatsoever so Sino sa atin dito ang may, may ilang lines na? Okay, malamang kung nag-aaral pa lang tayo, we have we will be earning. Of course, magsisimula ka sa isang line or walang line. Tapos eventually after mong graduate, pag naka-earn ka na experiences, the line in your uniform indicates that you are earning experiences and magre-reflect diyan kung meron tayong excellence. Pangatlo is develop and exercise good judge good judgment or sound principles of aeronautical decision making. So itong good judgment and sound principles na to, we will yung yung good judgment and sound principles our basis for to make decisions, no? Decisions in terms of aeronautical activities, ba? And then letter D, recognize and manage risk effectively and the use of sound principles of risk management okay so yung tinatawag nating uh, meron usually kayong course or subject na risk management disaster and risk management actually senior high meron na yan do we effectively implement or use this um principles dun sa risk management halimbawa no ano merong merong mag-hijack sa sa eroplano may risk yon uh, mga mga sudden or hindi natin inaasahang mga pangyayari so meron tayong mga risk management activities in programs that is available or probably you know na magi ma-apply mo at may iwasan natin probably alam natin yung gagawin kung sakaling mangyari yon letter e maintain situational awareness and adhere um operating practices and personal operating parameters so dito sa letter e we have to have yung situational aware awareness no yung um although kapag nasa aviation field na tayo pag nandoon na tayo mismo sa workplace Nire remind tayo always na organization doon sa operating practices yung tinatawag nating SOP and GOP ba standard operating procedures and general operating procedures those parameters no uh, kung uh, tag dito alam ba natin inaalam minimaintain natin dinememorize natin next of course this one this is important one aspire for or to professionalism alam mo kita tatin yung professionalism, act with responsibility and courtesy. so hindi na wala sa ito yung tinatawag nating professional values, responsibility and courtesy. and of course, of course, last is yung adhere to applicable laws and regulations, laws that required by the government and regulations by the CAAP mga ganong klase. We are complying with this. So, ito yung tinatawa natin, general respons responsible subdivision. When it comes to application, applicable laws and regulations, salimbawa na yung pag -re renew ng, ng license is one of your responsibility. Yan. So, kasama po dito. Now, uh, this general, general responsibilities Kumbaga ito yung preamble, no? Sabi dito as it serves as preamble to the code of conduct of other principles. Yan. So ito po yung mga 
sample recommended practices natin. Okay. Una, na-mention natin yung principles. So, ito naman yung mga practices. Out from those principles, meron kang mga magiging practices. Una, pwede natin adapt. Approach flying with seriousness and diligence. Siyempre, no? seryoso talaga dapat tayo when it comes to ano, limbawa, power trip ka lang, magpapatakbo ka ng eroplano, no? Nag-trip ka, pinaikot-ikot mo yung eroplano kasi trip mo lang. Hindi pwede, especially if we are um, handling lives of our passengers. No? Never subject to others to risk you would not prudently take and plan your flight accordingly. Of course, not necessary. Recognize that your conduct reflects upon the entire aviation community. So, Laging dala-dala ng pilot yung kung anong company yung kinabibilangan niya. Diba? So, alam mo, if ikaw ay pilot ng Philippine Airlines, tapos nakita ka na nakikipagbasag ulo sa mga ganitong sa bar, ganun. So, hindi naman yung sarili mo lang yung makikita dyan. Ah, yan, nagtatrabaho siya sa, sa Cebu Pacific. Yan. So, we are having uh, yung the, con the mindset of people is not nakapokus doon sa person itself but doon kung saan siya nag-work okay so we have your conduct is the reflection of the entire um aviation community understand and comply with the privilege privilege and limitations of your certificates licenses ratings and ensure Endorsements are correct and current. Okay, so, yung mga, pag nagko-comply ba tayo? Especially yung licensing. Wait lang po. And then, of course, advanced situational awareness. Yung mga sound. Kailangan uh, aware tayo na, halimbawa, may may nagbabago yung mga principles. Okay. So, alam na natin, updated tayo sa mga, mga, ang tawag natin doon? Yung mga pagbabago doon sa mga principles na yun. Develop, use, periodically review and refine personal checklist and personal minimums for all phases of flight. Review these materials regularly with an experienced instructor or other trusted mentor. So, probably you are doing this sa... Um, aviation school, di ba? Diyan sa WCC, uh, most of your instructors really give their uh, th those checklists you know, for phases of flight. Recognize and accept, recognize, accept, and plan for cost of implementing proper safety practices. So usually, yung tinatawag natin cost of impl implementing proper safety practices, no? Um, kinoconsider natin if we are going to have this what we call yung ano yung gagastusin mo if ever you have you will um, be releasing some of the efforts such as monetary the effort itself no for especially for this proper safety practice minsan ito yung naneneglect ng ng mga nasa aviation. It's, hindi lang sa aviation, nasa other field also. Yung safety practices, ito yung madalas makalimutan. Yan. So, dapat i-remember natin. Magkaroon tayo ng, ng um, plano and awareness sa mga safety practices. Be aware of personal susceptibility and seek to avoid or manage yung tinatawag nating mga distraction patig, um, stress, and hazardous attitudes. Yeah, may mga hazardous attitudes. Una, distraction, no? Be aware of those, no? Um, yung ibang mga organization, um, may mga rulings such as wala mo nang jowa, parang ganun sa mga kanilang mga pilots. Kasi parang, parang isa sa mga tinuturing na distraction yung meron silang mga um, pag-ibig, parang ganun, no? So, may mga organizations na gano'n na pinagbabawal. Pero I don't per really particular with those organizations. Pero I think meron. Fatigue, of course. Kaya nga merong oras lamang. Alimbawa yung mga pilots, di ba? They, 
they require two flights a day, three flights a day, kasi hindi naman ganun kadali. So, kailangan um, ma ma magkaroon tayo ng learning how to manage our fatigue, stress, of course, and other hazardous attitudes. Make personal wellness and an honest evaluation of your mental and physical fitness as, I mean, a precondition of each flight. No, um, Meron tayo dito yung I'm safe. Yung I'm safe. I-M-S-A-F-E. Yung I'm safe is uh, check our illness. No, We have to um, regularly check kung may sakit ka na ba sa puso, may, meron ka na bang iubo ka, illness. Check first the illness. I. Um, M. Medication. Regularly taking your medications if you have sakit sa puso and so whatsoever. Kung high blood ka, nag-maintain ka ba? No. I'm safe. S, stress, of course. Ano pa? Eh, safe A, alcohol. Di ba? Meron tayo ruling uh, yung bottle to throttle rule, 8-hour bottle to throttle rule, of which hindi ka pwedeng mag-take ng flight if hindi mo follow yung rules na yun. Another thing sa so I'm safe, illness, medication, stress, alcohol, fatigue, yan. Of course, emotion. Importante din po yung emotion, no? Kasi if you are not emotionally stable and you're trying to magka, mag, mag, meron kang flight, no? Medyo delikado din yun. So, remember yung I'm safe na example natin. Another? Another? Meron pa tayong... Siguro you have to read this na lang, guys, sa ating... ano. Um, LMS, ipopost ko na lang to. Madami-dami itong sample recommended practices niya eh. Sabi dito, develop conservative personal operating parameters, um, reflecting your experience, proficiency, and currency in challenging conditions, including poor weather and night operations. Especially those who are um, having this flight sa gabi, di ba? Yung night operations na yan. Hindi lang po sa mga pilots ha. For, for airline operators or operating management team, mga crew, yan. And of course, yung sa poor weather, we have to be proficient kung ano yung dapat gawin when it comes to poor weather and night operations. Established, um, conservative, ah, naulit ba? Ah, tama. Establish conservative personal parameters for this of supplemental oxygens and awareness of your personal susceptibility to hypoxia. Ano ba tong hypoxia na to? Search ko muna. Hypoxia is Let's check the internet ko ano sinasabi sa hypoxia. Deficiency in the amount of oxygen reaching the tissues. So, kung meron tayong hypoxia, guys, tapos uh, may, may deficiency ka dyan, tapos piloto ka, ano, medyo, let's consider the parameters of this. We have to be aware of this. Consider this a pulse oximeter. Yan yung mga ginagamit for this hypoxia. Um, use supplemental oxygen on flights when required by rule or any time in maybe that may be beneficial. Uh, another, adhere to applicable rules and operating practices of your air, airport, flying club, school, FBO, flight center, or aircraft rental provider. So we have to check the operating practices or standard operating procedures or rules ng mga sa airport, flying club, and at other aircraft rental provider. Comply, com, comply with exit applicable requirements for airworthiness, directives, or ADs. Ito, understand the benefits of complying with recommended expect stores and services routines. I think probably uh, dito is pag sa Philippines ay yung kaap. No? Yan. Basahin na lang po natin yung crew management resource. Ito po. 
uh, available po sa internet, especially sa Wikipedia, yung Crew Resource Management. Ito po ay napaka-importanteng um, kailangan malaman ng mga aviators. Kasi dito, naka-indicate yung, yung culture, yung safety culture ng mga pilots. Okay. So dito, uh, naka-indicate dito yung mga necessary na dapat natin gawin when it comes to crew management, crew resource management. Next, um, yung risk associated with flying at low altitude, mga ganon. Weather, consider that. Weather at na, uh, weather and night uh, flying, congested areas, over water, over rug, good mountainous or forested terrain. You, meron pong, um, I think, probably you know this, di ba? Uh, may mga areas, especially kapag nag-fly sa Himal Himalayas Mountains ang mga mga pilots, usually yan yung area na iniiwasan nilang or mas mataas yung altitudes kasi hindi pantay-pantay yung mountain range dyan. So, uh, yung iba is iniiwasan yung ganun yung route na, na yun kasi hindi nga pare-pareho yung altitudes or yung doon sa Himalayas Mountains, hindi pare-pareho yung taas ng mga bundok doon. Do not practice maneuvers in congested airspace, of course. No? Kaya nga po, napaka-importante yung trabaho ng mga, ano, mga airline operators. Mga, anong tawag nyo doon? Meron, may specific na trabaho dyan sa may mga sa airport. Yung they are managing kung gaano karaming lalapag na aircraft at aalis. No? Uh, nakita ko po ito sa box sa Facebook kung paano nila ninamanage hindi lang sa airspace kundi mismo dun sa airport. Yan. So yung visibility na kaya nga dapat ang vision is 2020 yung napakalinaw ng mga mata ng mga piloto, di ba? Kasi nga especially those who are flying at night kasi it is appropriate your your visibility is necessary when it comes to aircraft flights and whatsoever. Listen and be heard, monitor report, maintain a sterile cockpit for taxi, take off, landing, and other. Um, these are recommended practices. Yan. So please read carefully of this sa inyong LMS. Second part na po tayo. The principles for passengers and people on the surface. Nasa, nabangit ko kanina yung surface na either sa aircraft or sa air, airport or sa airbus or whatever. Anong dapat gawin ng mga pilots? So dito, we must maintain passengers' safety. No? Yung safety nila muna, hindi mo muna safety. Kasi yung mga ano na, safety muna nilang inuuna, hindi safety ng passengers. And then, reasonable passengers' comfort. Yung passengers' comfort problem, no? hindi lang trabaho ito ng, ng pilot, pati ng mga crew mga flight attendant and others nakasama sa flight natin. Manage risk and avoid unnecessary risk to passengers, to people and property on the surface and people in the other aircraft. So, ano-ano yung mga risk, no? Yung katulad ng uh, hijack, no? hijacking. Those are an uh, mga mga risk sa passengers natin. Yan. O kaya uh, nagloko yung yung makina ng eroplano. Those are how do we manage those kinds of risk? Uh, we have to brief passengers on planned flight procedures, 'di ba? Madalas itong ginagawa ng mga bago lumipad ang aircraft. Nagkakaroon muna ng briefing si pilot at sinasabi yung mga alam ko, alam, memorize nyo probably yung mga sinasabi. To inform the passengers of any significant or unusual risk associated with the flight. Yan. So, alibaba, kung, kung hindi maganda ang weather, ayan, kung hindi maganda yung weather, 
or kung ano yung aasahan ng mga flights sa kan uh, mga passengers sa flight ano ba from Sydney Australia to um New York kung meron mang diretsong flight I think meron na ba parang wala pa no New York to diretsong uh, Australia I think bababa ka pa ng ano ng Singapore tapos another flight avoid avoid operations that may alarm disturb or endanger passengers or people in, on the surface so um ano ano ba yung mga disturbance sa people or passengers sa surface natin okay kaya napakahigpit po laging security sa airport yung kung lalo lalo na nung nag na nangyari ang 9/11 um attack of course uh, yung yung ang pinanggalingan ng terrorism or yung naging cause ng terrorism ay through airplane no yung hijacking of two airplanes noong September 11. So, kaya mas mas pinahigpitan pa ang security sa mga sinasakay, baka pasaherong sumasakay sa eroplano. Ayan. So what is the explanation of this principle? The, this principle that talks about passengers and people in the surface. We are we or kayo bilang mga pilots, kayo yung unang responsible sa safety ng passengers natin. So, passengers place actually their lives on the pilot's hands. Tayo mga piloto, nasa kamay natin yung buhay ng lahat ng nakasakay sa aircraft. no Baby, matanda, aso, pusa, kung sino may nakalagay, nakasakay dyan. So, alam natin yung bigat ng responsibility. And of course, hindi lang yung buhay, sarili mong buhay necessary. Yeah. So, we have to um, include yung proper diligence or pinakamataas na care no, sa ating ginagawa bilang piloto. Ayan. So, ito po yung mga sample recommended practices niya. So, keep your passengers safe. Pwede yan yung gamitin natin. Act professionally towards your passengers no may mga videos ako nakikita sa Facebook on how um, pilots do their their briefing no? um pati yung mga flight attendants how they really show professionalism sa mga passengers may nakikita ako mga flight attendants na may nagwawalang passengers or may current na passenger na um nagbubunga nga napaka calming how they do or how they manage th that situation calmly. Improve safety margins by planning and flying conservatively. Yan mga example. Conduct a thorough passenger safety briefing for each flight. Tactfully, tactfully disclose risks to each passenger. Address their concerns or anxieties regarding flight operations hindi na hindi minimension yung mga mga words na makakapagbigay ng panic sa mga customers di ba um ang sinasabi lang minsan ng mga pilot ay we have an issue mga ganun pero hindi sinasabi meron pa lang bomba sa ano yung hindi makakapagbigay ng ng sobrang stress and emotion sa passengers ayan and then these are the following um, recommended practices, a certain flight experience concerned to each passengers, instruct passengers to avoid touching or obstructing critical flight controls, diba? Kaya nga, pero, kaya napaka necessary na meron tayong mga flight attendants. They are the ones who, they are the ones who instruct mainly the um, passengers, no? Huwag pindot-pindotin yung mga ganito, ganyan, ina-assist kung saan pupunta, saan mag-CR, saan whatsoever. Um, encourage passengers to serve as to serve as safety resources. So identify nearby aircraft, ayan, organize charts and whatsoever. Okay? Last po, basahin nyo na lang po ito. Medyo madami-dami itong mga recommended practices niya. Last is, or last for today, kasi we have another 
um, discussion of this next week. Uh, and next week will be our last um, meeting for this course. Kasi hanggang December, uh, December 16 lang tayo. So December 2 ngayon, ay, December 1 ngayon, ay, pala no? Holiday pala December 8 sa mga may klase ng December 8. Isa lang naman. So, recording ulit. No? Magpaki-check nyo na lang sa LMS. Okay, last po is uh, the principles of training and proficiency. Ayun. So, ano dapat ang ginagawa ng mga pilots? What are the code? Or what is what are the codes or the recommended principles, not recommended, the principles actually for this training and proficiency. So dito, we have to participate, all pilots must participate in regular, um, regular recurrent training to maintain and improve proficiency beyond legal requirements. Diba kasi, um, I don't know, pero sa mga for example, sa amin, sa mga teachers, meron kaming tinatawag na CPD. Those who have licenses, engineers, CPAs, mga doctors, mga nurses, mga nurses, um, mga police, mga lahat ng may license dito sa Philippines, they are required to earn before, pwede kang mag-renew ng mag-renew ng iyong license without earning CPD. Okay? Pero ngayon po, um, Bago ka makapag-renew ng license mo, kailangan meron ka mo ng Continuous Professional Development or CPD. Paano ka magkakaroon nun? Okay. Halimbawa, no, ang mga teachers, they are required to have from 36 units of CPD to 15 units yata. Yun, mag aattend ka ng seminar, mag aattend ka ng mga training, mag aattend ka ng mga workshop. Okay. Hindi ka mag re ulit bilang mga ano. Kung baga, mag ka ng mga trainings na yun just to make sure that you maintain your knowledge of your profession. So, so every pilot, uh, lahat ng mga na may mga license, may mga, mga professionals. Ayun. We have to have this recurrent training to improve our proficiency. Pangalawa, participate paid in flight safety education programs. Ma may, may, mayroon pong mga ganito sa, sa field of aviation. Remain vigilant and avoid complacency. Um, pag naging ano ka kasi, parang naging relax ka, no? Ano yun? Mga, hindi mo alaman kung kailan yung... Kasi kapag hindi ka vigilant, no? I know someone when a person before Pag lumalabas kami, laging naka nakabantay yung mata niya sa ano, sa paligid. Kasi sabi niya, malay mo may mangyaring masama. No, mamaya yung katabi pala natin, sasaksakin na pala tayo. Mga ganun, marunong klase ng pagiging vigilant. And kahit na kumakain lang sa restaurant, uh, mapagmasid siya sa paligid. Yun. So ito example, sa atin bilang mga pilots, no? if, we, if we are we, we are not this kind of vigilant sa mga pangyayari, no? Yung magaling makiramdam, tama ba ako? Nang halimbawa, no, sa mga passengers natin, mamaya meron na palang, meron na palang suicide bomber doon, no? So we have to check on that. Train and recognize and deal effectively with emergencies. Yeah. So we are being trained and we are continually being trained sa mga ganitong klase ng mga iba't ibang klase ng emergencies. Prepare and review each lesson carefully, of course. Maintain accurate log to satisfy training and currency requirements. Okay. So, ang explanation dito, yung training and proficiency po, Ito ay under ng aviation safety. So, sa aviation safety po, 
Mayat maya yung training, mayat maya yung pag-check sa atin, especially kung we are still uh, updated tayo sa mga sa, sa training. Hindi nawawala po ito. So, it includes sa air training and ground training. Um, importante po yan. Each, each contributes significantly to flight safety and um, neither can substitute for the other one. So we must, to be most, most effective, training must often exceed legal requirements. So these are the sample recommended practices when it comes to training and proficiency. So pursue a rigorous, rigorous lifelong course of aviation study. Para sa amin po, no, sa mga nasa academy, it's not alone that you finish your undergrad, ba? Bachelor of Science in Business Administration. We pursue another level of education, which is Masters, Masters in Business Administration. Now, if you are not satisfied with the learning because you want to be excellent with your field, mag, magkakaroon ka na ng training for Diba sa amin, Doctor of Business Administration. And then, meron pa isa doon, PhD, Doctor of Philosophy in Business Administration. Mga ganong klase. So, tayo din bilang mga sa mga piloto po, meron kayong lifelong course. Yeah. Consider a training plan. So, dapat meron tayong training plan. Earning new ratings, certifications, and endorsement. Develop and follow a training regimen that incorporates the assessment of your progress, ensures your flight instructor or mentor communicates such assessment to you and provides opportunity to, to your input. Ano pa? Invite constructive criticism. Importante po ito yung constructive criticism. Why? Uh, you are not tawag dito? You, you are not a um, Yung tinatawag na monopoly knowledge, everybody, hindi galing, hindi alone na sa'yo lang yung information na yun. There are things that you don't know that other people know, especially for those na instructor or mentors na aviation. So, wag nating isipin na kahit na senior pilot ka na is nalalaman mo na lahat. Okay? We have to have this what we call constructive criticism. Learn to ap learn appropriate use of the aircraft flight manual. Okay? Iba kasi kahit uh, mahusay ka na na, ano, aerop, na, na pilot, no? hindi ka na nagbabasa ng flight manual. No? Yung mga ganun. So we have to always check our air, uh, aircraft flight manual. So andito yung mga aircraft limitations performance nung aircraft natin, plan, uh, plan, plan flights, properly secure cargo, determine fuel requirements, calculate weight and balances. Okay. What else? Yan, madami dami po ito when it comes to training. Pwede po kayong mag-check sa, ano, sa www.faasafety.gov. Ito po, they usually announce the safety meetings, literature, and, and literature and other um, commentaries or courses para ma-review po natin. So dito po, laging available yung kung gusto nyo pong magkaroon ng mga other ideas related to um, professional development in training and proficiency. Okay, so ano ba ang mga laman nito? Dito sa sample practices din po when it comes to training, no? Understand and use appropriate procedures of event system, mga ganyan. Um, participate in FAA. Example ko lang po ito, yung mga FAA, um, yung wings. Yan. Check nyo po itong mga to. Mga importanteng nece uh, necessary um, recommended practices when it comes to training and proficiency. Yan. Ito, stay current with diverse and relevant aviation publications. Uso pa rin po ang magbasa sa, sa lahat. May mga publications, may mga napapublish na books, mga reading materials for 
uh, training and proficiency sa mga aviators. Uh, ano pa ba? Join type clubs. Yan. Support organ or support organizations. Yan. Na magka um itong mga mga clubs na to or mga mga support organizations na to. You will learn from it, no? Magkakaroon ka ng ideas about your capabilities, your limitations, okay, yung mga safe um flight operations and whatsoever. Last Last na ba? Si so, yung safety and security ay yung security ay didiscuss ko po next meeting. Um, Mag-iisang oras na tayo. Complete the equivalent of flight review annually. Yung mga ganyan. Ito yung mga recommended lang po. Ah. Hindi, ulitin ko, it's not the standard. Okay? It is a model. Kaya nga sabi niya, um, sample recommended practices. Ibig sabihin, you can adapt these practices and then um habang nagka-craft tayo ng ating code of conduct, pwede mo naman copy and then revise mo lang which is kung ano yung magsasatisfy doon sa pangangailangan ng buong organization. And of course, sa pangangailangan ng mga pilots and those crew members na ating organization, okay? So I think um I will end this discussion. Um Check nyo po yung second part of this, yung security, ano po ba? environmental issues, um, use of technology, and advancement and promotion of aviation. So napaka-necessary po ng huling bahagi ng ating SEM ay madiscuss sa atin yung um, code of conduct example or model of code of conduct for aviators okay so um see you again for our discussion have a nice day everybody mag-iingat po kayong lahat make sure that you uh submit the requirements needed hindi lang sa subject na to ganun din sa ibang subject if you are still doing your defenses um take time to focus on that because that is necessary that is important but don't forget that meron din kayong mga minor subjects, okay? So, yun lamang po mga aking mga estudyante mababait, make sure to check this video lesson sa ating LMS. Bye-bye everybody, have a nice day.